In relative terms, CVT or continuously variable transmission is the newest type of the bunch. It is a shiftless transmission which is categorized under automatic. The main advantages that we get from using a car equipped with CVT transmission are smoother driving experience and fuel efficiency. Before we dive into the tips on how to improve the health of a CVT transmission, let me first give you a sneak peek on how it works. A CVT transmission has two pulleys, one pulley connects to the engine, and the other connects to the wheels. A flexible belt connects the two pulleys, unlike a traditional automatic, a CVT does not have a fixed number of preset gears. Instead, it uses an unlimited number of gear ratios to accommodate the driving style and conditions at any given moment. Next, I will give you some important information about the do's and don'ts concerning CVT transmissions. CVT fluid wears out over time. It should be changed much sooner than automatic or manual transmission oil. CVT fluid has to be in the right condition to protect against metal-to-metal -metal contact. It also has to provide the correct frictional properties. Once the CVT fluid has deteriorates, poor performance and fast wear can creep in. Changing oil as per the manufacturer's requirement is essential for the health of all types of transmissions and CVT is no exception. The frequency of fluid changes will vary depending on the manufacturer's recommendations, but it is typically every 30,000 to 60,000 miles or between 50,000 to 100,000 kilometers. Using the correct type of fluid is also important. Things like hard acceleration and braking, and driving in stop-and-go traffic should be avoided as much as possible. It is essential to maintain a linear throttle input so as to avoid unnecessary strain on the transmission. Besides straining the transmission, aggressive driving techniques are thought to hinder the fuel efficiency by about 33%. Hard acceleration is also considered to be the culprit for CVT problems. When getting off the line, it is advisable not to accelerate quickly as it may put strain on the transmission since the engine RPM and drivetrain won't be in sync. Not only will it require more fuel but it will also cause abnormal wear and tear of internal components. When it comes to towing a heavy object, CVT transmissions don't have a good reputation. Because of design constraints, CVT transmissions simply cannot effectively handle towing a heavy load. It is evident that car manufacturers themselves will mainly use CVT transmissions in low-power, low-torque cars which will rarely be seen towing heavy camper trailers, boats, etc. CVT-equipped cars cannot tow as much as cars with standard automatic transmissions or manual gearboxes can. So, it is advisable not to give a CVT-based car more than it can chew. In order to combat fluid leaks, noise, belt slipping and other issues, you should use transmission additives. The right transmission fluid additive can stop slips, sluggishness and hesitation while safely and quickly sealing leaks. These CVT-specific additive fluids contain seal conditioners, extreme pressure, and anti-wear agents, detergents and performance boosters to stop belt or chain slipping, seal fluid leaks and reduce noise. Using these fluid treatment helps maintain the system and can cost-effectively resolve minor issues before they turn into major trouble. One of the most common symptoms exhibited for CVT transmissions is slipping. This issue can be caused by the deterioration of various CVT parts such as the rubber belt or metal chain that links two pulleys inside a CVT. Excessive slipping of the transmission might indicate serious structural transmission issues or problems with the transmission fluid. If you notice slipping, you have to make an immediate corrective action before it's too late. Hard shifting while braking is also another bad sign. If you start hearing grinding or snapping sounds when you apply the brakes, there is probably something wrong with your car's transmission. The other major cue for concern is bad fuel consumption. A problematic CVT causes your car to shift up and down, you can expect its fuel economy to be significantly worse than expected. Moreover, issues such as slow and unpredictable acceleration, an overdrive mode problem also indicate serious problems. If you notice any of the above issues, you have to take your car to a qualified mechanic as soon as possible. Other than the list I mentioned above, things such as avoiding extreme heat and regularly cleaning the transmission to remove dust and debris are crucial for optimum health of a CVT transmission. By following these tips, you can help to prolong the health of your CVT transmission and keep it running smoothly for many years to come.